Hi artist. So I have my desk set up here with the supplies I'm going to need to start with my egg temper painting. So I have some powdered pigments. I have yellow, purple, and brown, and I have an egg yolk and some distilled water. So my first step is actually that I have to mix my paints. And because egg temper dries very, very quickly, I want to only mix the amount of paint I need for a little area at a time. Um, I've been thinking about the color choices that I'm going to use in my composition. And I know that this teacup I drew has some purple flowers on it. I also have an orange and I have this sort of pink depression glass plate and this tea box thing, which is like gray and brown. So I was thinking about all that and I feel like sort of a neutral-ish purple-yellow situation would be good in the background because it'll pop against my the complementary color of the purple um, and just provide contrast with everything else. So I'm going to mix those paints now. I'm just going to move my panel out of the way while I do this. Y'all will have plates that you're working on. I'm just working on some palette paper for now. So the first thing that I need to do is get some little bits of my powder pigment ready to mix. I'm going to start with some of my yellow powder. This is temper powder. If you mix it with water, it would be just like the temper paint that we use all the time. I think I'm going to start, I kind of want a yellowish brown. I'm going to go ahead and mix my powder a little bit with my um, um, palette knife just so the pigments are blended a bit before I add in everything else. So there's my, my pigment. And next I'm gonna add my solvent, which is distilled water. Um, so I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna start sort of liquefying that a bit. So it's sort of a warm brown that I've got going. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more water. I'm going to very, very carefully get just a drop or two of water. I just don't want to get all my water dirty right now already. So I've got this. And this is essentially watercolor paint right now. I mean, water and pigment mixed together. The thing that's going to make this something different, special, is adding a little bit of egg yolk to it. I'm gonna go ahead and use my palette brush. So if your egg yolk is not already broken, you wanna do that. And yours is gonna just be in a little plastic cup about the size of this. And I'm gonna get a little bit of egg yolk and mix it in. Egg yolk acts as a binder for your paint. That's the thing that is going to make it stick to your panel and actually be something that is essentially permanent. So I'm gonna start with this. I don't know if this is the final color I'm gonna use, but we're gonna see how transparent, see-through, or opaque, not see-through it is. As I do with any other painting, I'm going to start with my background. So I've got my paint on my brush, it's all blended. And let's see what happens here. So you see when I paint this on, it's actually fairly sheer. I can see my wood grain through and sort of the way um, tempera, egg temper works is that I'm going to end up building up multiple coats of a color. It's never going to be completely opaque or completely covering on the first try. So I'm going to blend that color. I'm going to paint my background. And the other thing is I can't, it's really hard to blend into my painting as I go. So I think I wanna um, cool this color down a little bit. So I'm actually, I think I'm done with that there. You can see it's like already basically dry to the touch. It's really fast. Let's see what happens if I add a little purple pigment into this. So I can see that's kind of darkening up my color a little bit. You know, that purple and yellow complementary colors, they're gonna mix and make a bit of a darker neutral. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in to kind of be the table, whatever it is that's underneath my painting. And I think all my really bright colors in my painting are gonna pop against this. So, got this started, paint my colors in. I feel like I have a little bit of the table that showed through here, kind of in between the handle, my dessert plate, and the tea box. And then I'm going to be done with this. Oh, you know what? I have dirt in this box and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Might as well use the paint that I've already mixed. So anytime you do this, you want to mix, mix a color, use the color. You're not, you don't really have a lot of work time. Even the paint I have mixed here is going to be dry in, I mean, 15 minutes tops. And so I don't wanna have to remix a color. I don't wanna have to worry about running out or not having it tomorrow. I'm just gonna mix a color that I need, use it, and then mix the next color. All right, enjoy your painting.